Hello everybody, I'm Dan. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about the printf function. More or less kind of like an introduction beginning printf function here. Uh, let's go and open up our web browsers to my website, thegpu.com, and we can either select C tutorials from the menu option up here or scroll down here to the C tutorials link. We'll select beginning printf. Now the printf function is arguably the most commonly used function in the C language. It is most often used to display information to the standard output, which in most cases is the console. In other words, somewhere on the screen. Now the printf function is quite extensive and will require up to four tutorials to cover all the features of this widely used tool. And I'm not going to be doing them all back to back. We'll be introducing concepts and then talking about printf as we go along. Now I haven't touched uh, um, I haven't touched on what a C function is yet, and there is no need to concern yourself with what a function is at the moment. I will be going over functions in detail in a future tutorial. Now, however, I am going to briefly describe the concept of parameters and arguments. And if you don't fully understand the concept, don't worry. It will become crystal clear with time. Now, parameters and arguments are often used interchangeably in day-to-day -day conversation, but they do have a simple distinction that you will need to that you will not need to understand just yet. Now, parameters are the values that are declared and received, and arguments are the values being provided when the function is called. And if that makes no sense to you, don't worry about that. We'll talk about functions later on. You don't need to know it. So basically what we've got up here is we've got the printf function, and this is the, the function declaration, and this is the start of what's called the parameter list here. And it begins with an opening parenthesis and a closing parenthesis. Closes it up. Now, the first all the parameters are separated by commas, right? And the first parameter is what we call the template string. Um, and then the next ones are called op optional arguments, and there can be an unlimited amount of those or none at all. <clears throat> so let's talk about this template string parameter, which is the first parameter. So the template string parameter is always the first parameter, and it is known by many names such as a control string, format string, etc. Now the, simple ex the simplest example of the printf function would be to simply display a string constant like this. So a string constant starts off with this opening double quote and a closing double quote, right? And it just has the string value of hello world in it there. Um, now note that, there are, that the optional arguments have been omitted, okay? Now, and that will simply display to the, to the console, hello world. Now let's talk about something called the character spe the conversion specific, boy, blah, blah. <clears throat> start that over. Let's talk about the conversion specification character, which is the percent symbol. Now because C is a mid-level language, it does not have smart features that can figure out what you are trying to accomplish. You have to instruct it exactly what it needs to do. Now the template string can be comprised of conversion characters that interject values into the console output. I'll explain what that means in a moment. Now the format of the output values is defined using the percent, which is the conversion character. So let's take for example, we've, we're declaring um, and initializing this integer i equal to the value of 9. And now in the printf function here, we've got our string value, which is in between the open and closing parentheses. Now right here is the, per, is the conversion character percent, and then we have D right after that. Now we have this comma indicating that, that, we, that we are done with the first parameter, and now we're moving on to some optional ones. And as you can see, we're passing I as the second parameter here, okay? So what this would display to the console is the value of I is nine, okay? So in the example above, the D just after the conversion character percent, right, represents the conversion of an integer value. As a general rule of thumb, I try to minimize the introduction of concepts that I've not covered in previous tutorials. So basically up to this point in my tutorial series, I've only covered the following data types, right? Char, int, float, and double. Now the following list is a conversion, following is a list of conversion characters for those four data types, okay? Percent %c for a character, a char, right? Uh, percent %d for an int value, f, for a float and percent %f for a double. Those two are the same. Now the more, there are more advanced features of the conversion character format that allow you to do things such as specify the number of decimal points in, for example, in a float or a double. Uh, you know, can represent numbers as hexadecimal, etc. Now because this is just the beginner version of the printf tutorial series, I'm going to keep the explanation of the conversion characters to the most basic level. I will cover features like that in uh, the intermediate to advanced tutorials. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to move my window off screen here. My 
browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't have one, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD next finish. Basically, you should have them if you've been following my tutorial series. But if you've got that open, you're going to type in cd space backslash, which just change directories and backslash is the root. Now, um, I'm going to do a, a mic directory here, C demo, right? And I already have that folder, but if you don't, it will go ahead and create one for you. And by the way, you should have already gotten everything installed, um, you know, as far as GCC goes. If you type in GCC at the, um, the anywhere at the command prompt, you should get this fail error, no input files, compilation terminated. If you get something else, then uh, basically you don't have GCC installed properly. Watch my first tutorial on installing GCC and uh, make sure you get that done there. Okay, so we're going to change directories to the uh, C demo folder using the CD command. We're going to make another directory here called uh, B, short for beginning, uh, and then we'll do printf. Okay, change directories to that folder, and we're going to notepad B uh, printf dot c right c is always our c extension there and we're going to create that file so coming back over here to the website rather than type all this stuff in we're just going to come over here highlight select copy come over here and paste it paste it all in now let's talk a little bit about what we've got here um, we've got a declaration and initialization of this uh, char letter A variable here, and I is uh, initialized to 4567, 4567. Float is this value, and double is this value. So here's the printf, and we've been evoking this, and you've, you know, you've obviously seen this before, but you, know, you might not understand everything about how it was working there until this tutorial. So um, the string literal starts here, right, and ends with the double quote. And we have literal value letter A equals, this is just, we'll always display this here. And then here is our conversion character, right? And we're doing percent C, right? And because if we come back over here to the website, right? Uh, because uh, letter A, the variable letter A, right? Is a char data type, we have to use the percent C conversion character, right? And that'll display that properly to the console there. So pretty straightforward on that. Coming back down here, I equals, we're using percent %d because once again, ints, we have to use the conversion character percent %d. And then of course we got percent %f and percent %f here for float. And don't confuse, uh, for example, that I use float %f as the variable name, right? That has absolutely nothing to do with this %f% percent right here. That's just converting a floating decimal type into the conversion specification characters, right? Okay, and then, um, one final thing that I didn't touch on previously here is that uh, this is what we call the whole entire template string per se, right? Which is the first parameter. And inside of this, let me grab the right thing here. Inside of the template string, we can have any number of these conversion characters in here, right? And after this first um, comma here, all of the optional arguments or parameters, we'll just call them interchangeable for right now, I'll explain later on in detail as you get more advanced. But basically, this, this after the first parameter, then think of it as we've got like a, an array or a listing of subparameters in the order that they're listed in here. So for example, letter A, the compiler will put that value into the first control character that it gets. So letter A will go into this percent %C, now our next one here is I, that'll go into percent %D. Our next one is F, go into percent %F. And the last one is D, which would go into there, right? So we can put any number of control characters and then any number of uh, optional arguments after that there. So let's come up here and save this. And um, then, uh, of course, what we're gonna do is compile that there. So we're just gonna type in GCC. I'm gonna hit the, uh, hit the tab key and that'll bring up the space there and then minus O for output and we'll just call the executable right uh, print F2 as well right if we do a directory now now we got our exe and if we go ahead and run our exe right we get all of the expected values from the printf function there okay now one of the things I haven't got over with yet is this slash n is what's called an escape sequence and that performs a basically a new line feed right and I'll go over that in my next tutorial there so I'm gonna go ahead and 
just minimize that, minimize that, and leave you guys with some, some final thoughts here. So, um, at this point, you should have a fairly good idea of the basic concept of how printf works. So, stay tuned for my next tutorial where I will discuss the concept of escape sequences. Thanks for watching.